So if you're brought up with twisted values, like a guy named Albert Fish, which the nation at that time, U.S., believed he ate 45 children, and the public wanted to tear him to pieces, because they were brought up that way. But a doctor named Wortham, a psychiatrist, said, I want to find out what made him that way so we can avoid those conditions in the future. That's much better. When your car veers to the right, you don't kick it and beat it up. Either your tire pressure's uneven or something's wrong with the steering column, you try to understand. When people, when children beat up other people and hurt other people like a bully, that's part of their conditioning, their associative memory, the system they live under, which doesn't correct that. Schools do not teach you much. They're mostly concerned with propaganda. Most schools don't teach you how to live, find meaning in your own life, how to disagree without getting angry. That's what's needed. What makes criminal behavior? What are the factors that make a Jeffrey Dahmer? I'm sure you know who that was. Before Jeffrey, there was Albert Fish. I don't know if any of you remember Albert Fish. Albert Fish was a fine-looking gentleman. He ate 45 children. Well, you wonder, how can anyone do that kind of thing? I'm going to try to give you some idea of the background of Albert Fish. When he was a youngster, about 10 years old, he was touching his private parts. His mother was an old-time Baptist, and she says, you are going straight to hell. You will burn eternally. And that kid, Albert Fish, stuck needles into his genitals because he didn't want to burn in hell. And he took other children into empty lots and cut off their private parts because he wanted to save them. If you're brought up in a distorted environment, which we all live in today, any judge that wraps the gavel and says 30 years is an ignoramus because he has no idea of the factors that shape human behavior. When you become aware, if you bring up a healthy boy with about six women, and one of the girls says, oh, did I see a gorgeous hat? That boy will pick up the same mannerisms, same facial expressions, and say, oh, I just love that hat. Because if that's the environment, and you're brought up in Italy, you say, hey, what's the matter? You like or you don't like? In other words, it depends on where you're brought up. Did